What's going on everybody? Eric coming to you guys again with another video. Now this video is gonna be something that most of you can relate to. Some of you may have actually tried it yourself. What I'm gonna be talking about tonight is gonna be intermittent fasting. Now I can break this down in a ton of different ways, but I'm actually gonna start with what intermittent fasting actually is. So intermittent fasting is essentially an eating protocol. It's not a diet, it's an eating protocol in which you actually take in your amount of calories that you want to eat in your entire day, whatever you want to say it is, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, however many it may be, and you condense it in an actual eating window. Now these actual windows will vary. So some people actually go typically 16 hours without food and then eight hours of actual eating. Now some people can actually go 20 hours without eating and then the actual four hours, they can condense it into that time frame as well. I've seen a ton of different eating windows from people. I've actually seen people do 23 hours and then one hour of eating. That's a little extreme in my opinion, but then again, most of this can be extreme to the average person too, so. So why do people do intermittent fasting? What's the whole basis behind it? This is a really highly talked about method that people use now, and I think it's really uh, worth it to really look into it uh, if you are somebody that has a giant appetite, that's somebody that really uh, just really isn't able to get full on uh, what most normal people would consider an average amount of food. So it's really worth it to really do your own research and see what really works best for you. Another controversial aspect to this is that to this very day, unfortunately, we don't have a lot, actually any, real scientific studies that prove intermittent fasting is gonna be more beneficial than a typical eating protocol. Like I said, there are some benefits to intermittent fasting as well. Some people actually feel like they function better when they're fasting. They feel like their performance is increased. They feel like they're able to focus a lot better. They feel like they're able to concentrate. They feel like they're able to be more efficient. They don't have to base their day around when their food is gonna be in. They don't have to uh, time their meals. They don't have to uh, set a set number of meals. They can pretty much free ball it. They don't have to really worry about it. The main benefit to intermittent fasting, in my opinion, is conveniency. If you work a job that requires you to always be moving, go long periods of time without food, or uh, you don't get a lot of breaks, any any type of environment that you're in that you're not able to uh, to get a, a meal in and sit down uh, is really going to be a, a great time to be able to use intermittent fasting. I will say that a lot of people out there use intermittent fasting that do not necessarily need to. I mean, if you're an athlete, for example, and you have that time to get two, three, four, even five square meals a day in where you can actually sit down and eat your food uh, without any interruptions is great. I mean, there's no real reason for you to be abstaining from food for a long period of time. That leads me to my next point, the negatives behind intermittent fasting. Well, it's very obvious if you go an extended period of time without eating, whether it be 10 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours, 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever it may be, and then you consume all of your calories within a designated window, you're gonna really start to think about food a lot. I would say that this is the most negative thing about intermittent fasting is that it creates this um, idea in your head that you need to think about food constantly. I guarantee you that if you talk to anybody that currently intermittent fasts, ask them about how much they think about food in comparison to before they started intermittent fasting, they're gonna say that they definitely think about food a lot more when they're intermittent fasting. I've been getting a lot of messages too lately, even comments by kids who are 15, 16 years old 17 years old in the prime development of their life thinking about doing intermittent fasting and some even actually doing it themselves. And this is totally something I advise against. There's no reason for you to be abstaining from food for such a long time when you're growing, when you need nutrients the most. At the end of the day, I go back to my own experience when I was at my worst with my eating disorder and my anorexia really had me in its clutches. I would, uh, I would go essentially 23 hours without food and binge eat vegetables for uh, that hour long span and that was pounds, I mean, that was pounds of vegetables, without a doubt. I mean, I would probably take down five to six pounds of broccoli and just anything that was calorically uh, just void. And uh, I would just consume a massive amount of it in order to fill my stomach, just to control my calories. Uh, this is essentially what intermittent fasting is about. It's about calorie control for a, a lot of people. And that's what intermittent fasting can get into. It can get into binge eating disorder. And that's something that I definitely think everybody needs to be aware of. Again, try asking one of your friends or anybody that you know that does intermittent fasting. Ask them when they've gone back to normal eating protocols. Ask them how long it's taken for them to get full, if they're able to get full, like an average person would. You're gonna have your answer right there. 
So here's my take on it, guys. Intermittent fasting is great if you work a high-stress job and you don't want to worry about food. You don't always have the time to sit down and eat a meal. Uh, it's great and it's really, really convenient for most people. For myself, it's been a pretty good tool leading up to contests, to competitions, for challenges and everything like that to be able to stomach a larger amount of food. If you talk to some competitive eaters, they actually use it as well and in order to train for their contests and actually leading up into contests as well. At the same time, I touched on it earlier, it can actually lead into binge eating. It will make you think about food a lot more often. It can be really socially awkward when you're out with friends co-workers, family, and you can't eat because your fasting protocol says that you need to fast another two hours. And for those of us who have addictive personalities, it lead to some negative things too. During my stint with intermittent fasting where I did it for 22, 23 hours a day, I, I, developed a, I developed an addiction to stimulants and that's essentially what most people do when they're on intermittent fasting. They have coffee in the morning, they essentially don't eat breakfast or lunch, and so they're pretty much just addicted to stimulants for most of their time. I feel like that's definitely not an optimal way to live your life. Bottom line guys, whether you're bulking, cutting, or just want to maintain your physique, it really doesn't matter. Intermittent fasting is just another protocol for you to get your calories in. At the end of the day guys, fasting really is easy. I mean, at least if you've done intermittent fasting for an extended period of time and you know what it's like to go without food, Simply not eating food is, is really not that hard. I mean, up until a given point. But that's just my take on it. Hope you guys liked the video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to cover anything else. I really like making these types of videos. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. See ya.